November 9, 2014. Small update about our garden. First, you can see here, put some new new pot and we multiply the strawberries. So, just take the runner, put them, I'll show you later. It's easier. So, yes, three here. Hopefully, we will not get all the management uh, management people coming here and picking up the strawberry when you have some. Okay, so let's get in. Uh, here we have a small, so some, those are some flowers. This is some longi. Longi looks a bit like lychee, a bit smaller. Uh, we just dump a seed there and it's starting. Empty one, so rosemary, rosemary change the place, seems to like it, more sun. And now winter is coming, so you will see the leafy vegetable. So those are from my wife, some Chinese Chinese one. Here a tomato tree that just started. I know it's coming winter soon, but let it go to see and I will try on the aquaponics system later. Um, eggplants, eggplants are still giving, giving more than during the summer actually. Funny enough, maybe it's too hot in uh, in Hong Kong. Uh, some more seedlings of salads, not so much left because we put them in other container. Adrangea, same, seems to like it since we moved, put it here. It was more in the sun before, it didn't grow so much. Here we have another Adrangea, bring back from France last summer. Some more leafy. Our salad, our wonderful skier crows. It's not only moving but making noise with the wind. So it's quite efficient for the birds. Not so much for the caterpillar. So caterpillar talking about it. Here, here we just have the culprit. Okay. So I don't know what he's doing there, but. Go away. Butterflies are nice, their babies are less. Because they give this. And this is actually not too bad. And we will see over there too. Uh, some more leafy. Leafy, leafy, leafy. Leeks. Garlic. Rose and what I say for the strawberries is yes, we did some more. So you saw three pot over there, and we have the neighbor did the same actually. <laughs> uh, so here's a bit of coriander. Very good for the Hunan uh, Hunan cooking. Don't mind my wife. So those are small runners. Ah. Here is a propagation. So I have the mother one, mother uh, plant, and you have all those runners go the way. And as I saw different video on YouTube too, you can just simply pinch it there. Here is just a bit of this one I did this morning, so no roots yet. I can't show you. It's a piece of electric wire. Just pinch it to actually it's just to keep it in place, so the roots will just start and here yeah, some babies that are actually quite big already and some of them when I move those I can tell you man the roots big twice as big as the plant sometimes here you have another you can see the number of runner I moved same here up oh, even using some yogurt pot to multiply. So, see some more leafy here. Here we have definitely is coming everywhere. I try to you see the bit up. Go away. So, still coriander here. Some peas. Another wonderful scarecrow. Yeah, we had our leafy, you can see here for instance, completely eaten up. 
eaten up over there. We thought it was a bird until we found some caterpillars. Salads, coriander, another uh, rosemary. Here we have some beans. Oh, those beans are amazing. Now they give a bit less, but it's been more than six months they are there. We thought we it would last what? Two, three months? No, no, no. Six, seven months later, we still have two plants giving. Uh, here, unfortunately, some salad we tried. What you see is weeds because we have a big problem of millipedes. Millipedes, you have to know they are really good as long as you don't have too many of them. Here is midday, so they are all inside the earth. Ah, no. Here we can find one. You can see just here. So those little, little, little mini pens, let me grab it. It will roll up. up. Well, you can see I actually got, got two of them. Up. And those one, they eat all the organic matter. But when there are too many of them, they start to eat the seedlings too. So here I just prepared yesterday some earth ready to plant something. Here three cucumber. They just started. Seeds we put before the summer didn't start. Just decide to start now. Here we come where we have some broccolis and broccolis suffered from those caterpillars. You can see a bit here. Actually those one are quite preserved. Here you have a good example. We took out some huge caterpillar, I mean almost like my finger. So more broccolis here, salad and the mint. Mint is here so far we let it grow just a bit wide. Up I didn't show you the center we a bit more Basil here, small tomato tree too, same, we'll go in the aquaponics later, spinach, some lettuce, some more peas, Pea, bean again, oh I said two, we had those long lasting one but actually we have three, and here strawberries, multiplication, you see, using the runners, recycling some yogurt pot, and here you go, you have plenty of strawberry plants. Let me continue. So here we have a bunch of, so some radish, and start to, we can see here, start to be a bit more, up, it's dark in here. Uh, broccoli, you see this one? completely eaten up by the caterpillars and oh, oh, some more and another wonderful square crow and another one yes I had some old t-shirt actually I had some no more <laughs> they are here uh, aquaponic system so finally after three four weeks of fighting with my tank the tank was shattered actually Tank was okay. We moved it to the air, to the rooftop, and when we put it on, it was shattered in the corner, all the way, all the way. So I put this coating, waterproof coating. Uh, I had to reinforce it with some fiberglass, but it seems okay now. It's been filled with water since. Actually, fourth time I fill it in, but each time I had a leak, but this time it seems to be the good one. And now it's ready, and on top I will put the two grow bed. Grow bed made of wood. Of wood made um, waterproof with the same coating. And here you have the disaster. Same caterpillars. 
I can't find any now because we kind of took them all out yesterday and need to come at night also to find some and finally some radish with a paper tree that giving a bit mini mini tree nice papers but two only I know a third one is oh fourth one coming too and then some more radish here yeah. Here we have a chrysanthemum lettuce. I don't know if it's a real name, but how they translate it from Chinese. And now more ornamental flowers and plants. Yeah, it's the same. Yeah, so it was our garden on November 9 of 2014. Thanks for watching.